how to get your drinking under control. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Amber Hollingsworth and you are watching Put the Shovel Down, the YouTube channel designed to help you understand the science and psychology of addiction so you can get your life and your family back on track. Okay, so back to our question, how to get your drinking under control. So your first step is going to be to figure out how severe it is. And I'm going to put a link to a video at the end of this video that will help you measure exactly where you're at on the continuum, which leads me to my next point. And that is that alcohol problems actually happen on a continuum. People tend to think, well, I'm an alcoholic or I'm not an alcoholic. And so for people who think, okay, I'm not an alcoholic, then in their mind, it means, oh, I don't really need to give up alcohol. Sometimes people will use terms like problem drinker or functional alcoholic, but the deal is it's all on a continuum. To me, it's about what stage are you in in the addictive process. Now, a lot of people really resist the term alcoholic. One reason people resist the term is because there's some stigma and strong emotions attached to the word. But another big reason why people resist the term is because in your mind, if you think, oh, I'm an alcoholic, then there's another thought that comes quickly after that that means I have to stop drinking completely. And that is a huge reason why people resist that term or label, which is kind of understandable. Although it is important to note that the term alcoholic and addict, those aren't even really official clinical terms. It's not like we diagnose somebody as an alcoholic, but it is a pretty commonly used term that we all have some basic idea around what that means. The official term is alcohol use disorder, but essentially that's a fancy way or a nicer way of saying alcoholism. If you have problem drinking, then you are probably somewhere on the scale of alcohol use disorder. But the big question here is how do I cut my drinking back? Well, there's good news and there's bad news. If you are very, very low on that alcohol use disorder scale, remember I'll put a video up here at the end and you can watch that to figure out where you're at, then you can possibly cut your drinking back. And one of the pieces of advice I would have for you is you probably inherently know that there's a point in your drinking, you know maybe how many beers it is or how many uh, drinks it is when you lose control. And you've got to set your limit under that because once you reach whatever point that is for you you've really deactivated the filter part of your brain the front part of your brain that would allow you to keep your drinking under control if you're very early on in an alcohol use problem and you put some limits on it you can possibly get that under control now if you're on the moderate to severe end of the continuum of the alcohol use disorder scale then you are probably going to have to stop drinking completely if you really want to get your drinking under control now you might be thinking, hey, that's not true. I've cut it back before. Hey, that's not true. I went for periods of time and got sober before. But actually, as you'll see when you watch the criteria, that is one of the criteria for alcohol use disorder. So I'm not telling you that you can't cut it back periodically. You may can stop for 30 days. You may can stop for 60 days. You may can keep your drinking at somewhat of a stable level for short periods of time. But the problem is, is it's like Russian roulette. But eventually the dam always breaks and bad stuff happens. And those are those moments when we think to ourselves, oh my gosh, never again. I hate this. I'm never going to do this again. But then we trick ourselves back into the thought of how can I control my drinking? You see, that is the trick thought that so many people struggle with. Most of the people, in fact, that come in my office, when I say, hey, what is your goal? Do you want to stop drinking or do you want to cut it back? People always say, I want to cut it back. Well, I'm going to tell you a little inside information here that I don't even tell my clients when they sit in my office and tell me that, which is it's probably in fact, very, very likely not going to work. Like I said, it may work temporarily, but it probably will not work long term. And as you go through the process of figuring that out, the trial and error way, you're probably going to find that alcohol causes more and more and more damage to yourself, to your relationships, to basically every aspect of your life. And a really important thing for you to remember is, is that alcohol use disorder, remember it's fancy for alcoholism, they tend to be progressive illnesses. So whatever stage you're in right now, the issue is going to get 
further and further and further. Just like you know, the more you drink, the more your tolerance gets higher and higher and higher, and the problems get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, I know this may sound really horrible, and this may sound like the worst news that you have ever heard, but honestly, once people come to terms with this, usually after a lot of trial and error and figuring it out on their own, they actually feel so much better when they quit drinking completely. I try to tell my clients, listen, I promise you that stopping drinking completely is so much easier than trying to manage your drinking. I know it's that thought in the back of our head that says, I just want to be able to drink socially and I want to be able to drink at events and can I just have a couple like everyone else has. The thing about it is, is if you have an alcohol use disorder, your tolerance is probably pretty high. So having one or two glasses of wine or beers or whatever probably isn't going to do anything for you except make you crave more. And there are a lot of reasons for that, like biological brain reasons for that. And I'll put some video links up here if you want to learn more about exactly why that is. When you're in that stage of trying to manage it, it's like this constant battle and fight that you have with yourself. It's like this constant vigilance that you have to have on all the time. And once you make the decision to let go of that and let go of alcohol, you don't have to be focused on managing it all the time. And eventually you start to feel a lot better physically, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually. You feel so much better. In fact, most people I see don't even realize how bad they feel until they get out of that storm and a pretty good distance out. Like you're not going to feel better on day one or day two. Probably it's going to take you a week or two, but after that, you're going to start feeling so much better. You're going to look back on it and you're going to think, oh my gosh, how did I live like, like that? That was so miserable, but you've got to get some distance from it to be able to see that clearly. Now, I know there are going to be a lot of you out here who don't like the message of this video, and, and I can respect that. There are a lot of pathways to recovery, and if you were my client sitting in my office and you wanted to manage your drinking, then I would allow you to go down that path. But to be honest, in the back of my head, I'm knowing that it isn't going to work, but I'm letting you figure out for yourself how that doesn't work. Some people come to grips with that faster than others. In fact, my guess is you've already tried to manage your drinking or get your drinking under control in a lot of ways before you ever watch this video. So if you think about it, you probably already have a pretty good lot of evidence as to what I'm telling you now. So you can choose to keep trying to do that, call it the bargaining, the cutting back, and sit, man, maybe that will work for you. But if you find that ultimately, eventually it fails and it ends badly, then I invite you to consider letting go of alcohol. You may surprisingly find that you feel so much better and you may not even miss it once you get some distance from it. So let's go through the list. Have you tried to cut it back to only a certain number of drinks? per day or per week? Have you tried to drink lower alcohol content beverages like switching from um, hard liquor to wine or beer? Have you tried to set limits on the days you can drink? Like I'm only going to let myself drink three days of the week or I'm only going to let myself drink on special occasions or socially or I'm only going to let myself drink as long as I eat first. Have you done a lot of that bargaining with yourself? Have you figured out some of that already? Have you tried the whole like, I'm only going to buy this much because if I only have this much, it's all I can drink, or I'm going to buy many bottles and that's going to help me control my drinking? What are all the things that you've already tried? We can mark those things off the list and move forward from there. And I'm going to end you with one of my favorite quotes, which is, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I am saying it's going to be worth it. Up next is that video for you so you can assess exactly where you are on that continuum.